Have you hit the plateau where you go out poaching turtles and don't know how to cook them? Well, no problem. Go look no further. You know why? Because today with Joe, we're going to learn how to cook sea turtles. Not only are we going to clean it, we're going to learn how to cook it. Okay, I can't wear a hat in the house. I can't do it. I wanted to wear the hat. I can't wear the hat. All right. Mm. I'm drinking a little bit of coffee. It's, oh, why are we tilted? There we go. That, that, are we still tilted? No, we're still tilted. How tilted are we there, Sandy? Well, we're all, all, always a little bit off. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. There we go. We're better now. What's up, guys? Ryan, you guys ready to do some cooking? What is going on, Kevin? Yes. KU, fresh sea turtle. Okay. Okay, I went out earlier today. I was out on the bay. There was a turtle popping up. No, man, we're not cooking turtle, but I just figured it would be funny. My ad watching. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Tiger. I just really thought it would be funny because there's been, I got to tell you, the joke about me posting the shirt, uh, posting the short about thanks, guys, for turning me in about the turtle. That's got a little more traction than I expected it to. And I gotta, I gotta tell you guys the truth. Stuff like that actually scares me. Cause look, we're fish fam. We're together guys. Miss Ashley, Tiger, Michelle, David, you know, we're all together and we're together all the time. And Salty, you know, um, Jody, Lord Satan, Dude, we're together all the time. And I I feel like you guys kind of know me, the Winzel. And I gotta tell you guys the truth. I'm I'm not gonna forget you, Javi. Teresa. You know, Chrome, Jonathan. I already said your name, Teresa. But I feel very comfortable, Robert. I feel very comfortable with you guys. Ryan, Stephanie, you know, I feel very comfortable with you guys, like I was saying. And I don't know how a lot of people take a lot of things that I say and how they'll react to me. And it kind of scares me a little bit. And I got to tell you guys the truth, because I was actually talking to Alfred about that the other day. And... Alfred's like, dude, you have to talk a certain way when you're talking to a crowd. Kevin, you're not chopped liver. Richard, no. Okay, let me let me take another sip of my coffee. Okay, so what's up? All right, let's get down to it. Mark P, just be you, Joe. No, I am me. I am. I am, and I'll always be me, no matter what. Yes, you guys know me, but like the thing about the turtle, you got to read some of those comments. I mean, I'm having fun. I got to tell you guys the truth. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having a blast. You, you should see me. I'm talking smack in all the comments. I'm having a, oh yes. Yes, this is definitely some Irish coffee. Just so you guys know, I am a full blown alcoholic. I am drunk from morning till night. Okay, I woke up drunk this morning. That's why I went on the 30 mile bike ride with you guys. I was three sheets to the wind. Yes, Javi, yes. I was three sheets to the wind. Even the turtle has haters, me. I hate on the turtles because there's nothing better than some fresh turtle next to a nice manatee steak, the true sirloin of the sea. Oh, yeah, you guys got to unsubscribe and resubscribe. No, I'm not making Moonfish again. Jeez, no. I have Yellowtail. I have two whopping Yellowtail that I caught yesterday. Okay? And I don't know what I'm going to make for a side. I've been trying to... I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do? Should I do like a roasted potato kind of thing? Or should I just keep it simple, stupid with some rice? What do you say? No, I'm, I'm a full-blown raging alcoholic i am just three sheets of the wind all the time full-blown drunk all the rice we're gonna keep it simple we're gonna go with rice okay 
Hit that share button. Hit that like button, guys. 2654. Let's get it going. What did I say the T word? Turtle? Both rice and potatoes? <laughs> Don't even worry about it, Lord Satan. Don't even worry about it. All right, you know what? You want both? We're going to do both. That's what you want. I'm always here to give you what you want and make sure it's all. I don't even know how to make hush puppies. I've never made hush puppies in my life. I don't even think I got grits. Should I make grits? I can make grits. I don't even, how do you even make hush puppies? Wait, wait, hold on. Let me look. Hold on. No, no, no. I def, no, 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 no. I definitely have nothing. I definitely have nothing. Well, no, I might. I might have something, but I really don't feel like looking for it. Oh, I finally went shopping. I finally went. Yo, check this out. Yo, I went grocery shopping. Look at that. Do you see that? Fully stocked. Look at that. Fully. You sh Do you see? I have so much cheese. Do you see this? I have so much cheese. Look, let me show you. Let me show you guys. So much cheese. It's overflowing. See, it's not just the door. It's not just there. It's not just there. There's, look, there's blocks of cheese there. There's hot dogs. There's all kinds of stuff. Yo. I, just so you guys know, I eat a lot of cheese. I am a cornmeal milk. I'm, I don't have cornmeal. Do I? Do you guys see cornmeal? Is cornmeal the same thing as grits? For some reason I have non-fat dry milk. I have beer batter for fish. Hold on, give me a second. Let me look. Let me look. More fish fry, that's old. Hold on, let me look over here. I have all-purpose flour, all-purpose flour. No, no cornmeal, guys, no cornmeal. I'll tell you though, I will tell you this. I have enough tortillas. I have, I must, I bought, I must have bought 10 packs of tor tortillas. Pepper Jack cheese soup is the best soup for sure. Anything Pepper Jack is good. Have you ever had bad Pepper Jack? Have you ever had bad cheese, period? Woo! I gotta tell you, the vodka I put in this coffee, it's kicking. I do. Homemade tortillas. No, homemade. What? We don't do no homemade tortillas. All right, let's get to cooking. Something we're going to need is we're going to need... <laughs> no, we're not doing seagull for doing her. We're not doing... So, bro, what's going on? Extra cheese, happy pilch. Yes. Oh, that reminds me. I need to get pilch's dinner cooking. Just so you guys know, he doesn't feed himself. And... wash our hands. We're going to make some roasted potatoes. Oh, Lena left me a dish. Hold on. 
Let me, uh, because I'm going to need this, this little bowl. I'm going to use this to toss the potatoes. All right, done. All right, so what we're going to do is I have these beautiful little golden potatoes. And I'm so glad you guys said roasted potatoes. I am so glad that you guys said that. Okay, so glad. Let's pull up a little chair right here. Did I already turn on the stove? No. Okay, there we go. We got that going. I'm going to pull out a knife. And we're going to start cutting up these potatoes. Sour cream for the potatoes, not for roasted. Okay? We don't do sour cream for roasted potatoes. We don't do sour cream. Did your power go out? No, no, it's just, it's always flashing. We don't need a lot, it's just me. We're gonna do the white rice, okay? Do you think that's enough potato for one? I think so, all right? Let's cut up our potatoes, and what we're gonna do is, as we cut them up, we're just gonna put them right there in that little bowl. We're gonna cut them up in two, okay? Slimster Esteban, what's going on, brother? We're in the kitchen with Joe. You guys don't have the best view, but at least you're looking at what's going on. The short, I didn't see that. Oh, me and Alfred yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? What are you, what are you talking about? Chives and garlic for what? For the potatoes? No, bro, I'm always drunk. See, I'm such a good alcoholic that I'm always drunk and nobody can ever tell. Straight two-stroking, baby. Just so you guys know, that's what the boat life looks like. That's what I look like running out the inlet. That's what I look like. See, you guys never get to see that. I don't know, let's, let's barbecue. That's the bottom down. Give me some time, though, whatever I, like, I'm down. For an afternoon. Don't call me early in the day. No, Lord Satan, it didn't even freaking rain, dude. It never rained until I got home, okay? Well, I guess I can use some calories. 10 a.m.? I wake up at 4.30. I'm putting that shit in my coffee. If not, I start shaking. Man. Oof. I wish, dude. I wish. All right, so check this out. Now we got our little potatoes. We're going to put these back in the fridge. While we're putting these back in the fridge. We're going to pull out a pot because we are going to make some rice. I really want a rice. We're gonna keep it really simple with the rice. And since we're doing that, we're gonna pull out another frying pan. Let's see. I don't want that monster frying pan. Oh. We're gonna, we're gonna use a little we're gonna use the ghetto walk. We're gonna fry in the ghetto walk. Now, I don't know if you guys know or not. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, okay? Okay, are you guys watching? You guys with me? Are we here? Starch and starch on, I know, I know. You guys said both, so I'm just going with it. It's too much, if you ask me. I really need a veggie in there. You know, I can't, it, it's, it's too much, but I'm a fan of potatoes, and I really like potatoes, so it's okay. We're gonna hit these things. Hello, Greg. We're gonna hit these with a little bit of olive oil. As you see, we got a little bit of olive oil in there. Toss them around. What the olive oil is gonna do is it's gonna allow the spices to really coat and stick to those potatoes when we roast them. Man, what's in my oven? I got a whole lot of shit in my oven, don't I? Now, I need that. Wait, wait for it, boys and girls. No, wait for it. Wait.
citrus habanero jerk. This is what I'm looking for. I got a little citrus habanero jerk. We're gonna check this out. Now the best way to taste Ooh, that's got a little sweetness to it. That's good. Mm. Which one's the good spice? Which one did you guys... Mm. Man, you better get a bigger rod if you want to catch a great white, bud. Hey, Mason, you're thinking about catching big, gray white. You better get a lot bigger than that. What do, you, what do you got, that little spinner? You better get something a little bit bigger. You want, you want to throw some garlic up in there? Uh, you, we can throw some garlic up in there. All right, garlic for the potatoes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the potatoes with a little bit of that garlic. Like, bam! Don't be shy. Hit it in there. Okay? We're going to... Dude, you can't have roasted potatoes without Parmesan. You can't do it. A little bit of that, little bit of that two step right there, baby. Look at that. Don't be shy about the parmesan. And now, see, we need some spice. We need some spice because you just can't do it without spice. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, that spicy seafood. That shit creep up on you. Ooh, that. Ooh, that's good. All right, we're gonna hit it with that spicy. That spicy seafood. Don't be too shy. Spice is life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, do you guys see that? Good and coated. Shake that around. Hold on. Oh, oh, we're going to get up in there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. That's going to be some good stuff right there, boys and girls. That is going to be some damn good stuff. Where? Elena? Oh, okay. I have one towel. It's okay. It's not what I want, but it'll work. All right. Mmm. Now look, everybody remembers. We don't like doing dishes, so we use a lot of aluminum foil, okay? Did you did you guys turn on the oven? You guys didn't turn on the oven, did you? We're gonna preheat that oven up to 425. Guarantee what? Guarantee. All right, guys. So, so listen. Let's 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 start this again. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna line our pan right here. We're gonna line it with some aluminum foil because we don't want to dirty the pan. Okay. We really don't want to cause more dishes for us to wash. So let's get down to it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tear a little bit of aluminum foil off real quick. And we're just gonna line it, just line it, line it like that, okay? We're gonna line it just like that. Wait, hold on guys, I hear my phone. I want you guys to know that war was throwing chains. Yo, that hurt so bad. I hurt my shoulder. So, <laughs> I want you to know that that hurt. <laughs> I 
Hey, we're just gonna we're gonna throw our potatoes. We're gonna throw our potato right there in the pan, boys and girls. We're gonna set that over there to the side, just like set it over there and let it be. Now, in the meantime, we don't want a lot of dishes, guys. Because you know what? Hey, I'll tell you guys the truth. If I leave the dishes in there now, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them, okay? Like, yo, next week, I'll be I'll be in the kitchen. I'll be like, damn, I still haven't done dishes. So I got to take care of this shit as I do this. Seriously, if I don't... I don't have one of those magic tables where... You just keep piling shit up and it magically disappears for some reason. Oh, look. Little bit little. Okay. Fubar, don't. Fubar, no. Fubar, no. What you, Fubar, why are you leaving? It's morning for you. Why is she leaving? No, Elena was here today and she left me a freaking bowl in my sink. Why is she leaving? Oh, shit to do? Yo, I'll call her. She probably won't get in a reception, but I'll still call her. Okay, dig her up. Where, where was I? What was I doing? Ugh. What was I doing? I don't remember what the hell I was doing. I think I need to make myself another shot of vodka. Well, Mr. Tropical. Joe, you look so sophisticated with the other shirt. Chill out with the homeless. a second I had to walk away I had to walk away for a second come here guys let's have a talk I'm pretty damn comfortable in my white tees and my shorts and my socks and sandals or my sneakers that are chewed up or my sneakers that have paint on them I'm very comfortable you know, because at the end of the day, I'm not here to impress nobody. I'm here to live my life and be happy. And the holy hoodies, you name it, shirts with stains, I'm here to be comfortable. And at the end of the day, I really don't give a flying fuck if you like my shirt or not. And I just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nothing against you. I mean, I don't, nothing against you, but really, like, <laughs> I really don't give a flying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, really, dude, that's why you guys see me with food stains on my shirts and shit. I don't give a fuck. Like, seriously. Hey, look, you guys almost had me wearing a man thong here earlier, and I was going to bend over and show it sticking up and all that, but I was like, you know what? You're tired today. Take it easy, Joe. All right. All right. So let's get down to this. We got this going. We're going to pop the fries, the potatoes up in the oven. We're going to pop the potatoes up in the oven. We're going to open up a window. From the windows to the walls to the sweat drop down my balls. Okay. So we're going to make rice too, right? Yeah. Well, come on. I had to... Look, dude, you said something, and it just hit me at the right moment. And I'm like, you know what? I have other clothes. I have other clothes. I can change clothes. But no, dude, this is this is me. I'm comfortable. Dude, I don't give a shit how much money I have or what the hell is going on. I'll always wear white tees. I'm poor. I wear white tees. 
I'll always wear white tees. Do you know, do you know, let me tell you guys, for all of my 20s, for all of my early 20s, all I wore was black. Black shirts, black dickies. That's all I wore for all of my early 20s. And then I started working on the water and that was because, that was because I was a mechanic. And as a mechanic, you can't wear white. Like any, oh. Well, did the sunshine blind you, blind you a little bit? I guarantee Mr. Tropical rewinds that video and screenshots it. So as a mechanic, you can't wear anything. You can't wear black. You can't wear anything but black. Yep, in my white tee. Clean. I, I love that song, dude. That shit was my jam. All right, so let's get the rice started. Dude, I have been looking for this knife. I haven't known where this knife was, and I've been looking for this. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. I have a little thing I use for shrimp, for rice. Okay, there it is. Okay. Because I don't know if you guys know or not. Do you guys know you have to wash off your rice? We're going to do a cup of rice. And we're going to start getting the rice ready. Okay? Okay, and whenever you do rice, I want you, Dexter... No, not Dexter knife. I have one somewhere. I don't know where it's at. I don't know. Dude, I lose shit. Shit just, it just vanishes. I have a ratchet in my knife drawer. Don't ask me. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna wash our rice. Okay, because if you don't wash it, I mean, you don't have to, but if you don't wash it, it gets like chalky and it's not very good. All right, really get in there, boys. Really get in there, okay? This is the best way to wash your rice. Really get in there, don't be shy. Don't be shy, if you drop a little bit, it's okay. You got plenty of them. That's why they're small in there. I'm giving, Joe. Oh. You can give anytime you want, boys, okay? Give a little, take nothing. Okay, now we're making a full cup, and this is a half cup measure. Now look, as for rice, so I've been told if I'm doing it wrong, if you use one cup of rice, that means two cups of water, right? Am I right or wrong? Am I right? Two cups of water. Now, I don't know. I don't know how you guys eat your rice, but I'm from Miami, and as a Miami thing, you can't go wrong with adding adobo to your rice. You're never gonna go wrong with a little adobo in your rice, okay? So we're just we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hit that jasmine rice with a little bit of that bam right there, you know? Hit it right there, get get it in there. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of that Miami, a little bit of that mommy hunt, you know what I'm saying? To your rice, and it's actually pretty good. This is how I like my rice, okay? You can eat your rice however you want. Now, to kick it up a notch, just so your rice has a little bit of that, that delicious creaminess, okay? We're gonna take, we're gonna pull out the country cock right out, country crock right out of the fridge, okay? I'm gonna grab a fork out of your strainer. Oh, I'm almost out of butter. I have to go buy more butter. We're gonna, we're just gonna throw that right in there, okay? Just throw that right in there. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna make your that's gonna make your rice so good. So good. I mean, is there any other way to eat butter? If it's not country cock, is it even butter? Are you this is this is the original. Are you telling me this isn't butter? Get out of my stream! Right now! We don't need your kind around here! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like 
my butter. Okay. You put brown sugar in your rice, so you like sweet rice? See? At least Craig Corey's with me. Fuck the rest of you. Mmm. Jalapeno jack cheese and what I did. Okay. In this house, I buy the butter, okay? When you buy the butter, when you pay the bills in this house, you can tell me what kind of butter you want to eat. But until then, I don't, I, I don't want to hear it. Oh. Ooh, pickled eggs and jalapeno juice. Good. Good stuff. All right, let's go set this over on the stove. All right, we're going to turn that on high heat. And while we wait, we're going to get the oil ready to fry some fish. Okay, so what I'm going to do is what we're going to do to fry the fish is we're going to use coconut oil. And the reason we're going to use coconut oil is because it gives it like a... Mm, it, it's something about it. You really can't beat. You know what? Do I really want to use this coconut oil for that much fish? Why can't we... Text it to me. 305-725-7020. Text me whatever pics you want to see. I can't open them right now on the air because, yeah. But if you want to call in. Hold on. Hold on, wait a second. Somebody replied to my comment. It wasn't her. Hold on. Hey, anybody know this guy? Anybody know that guy? Rubbing your dirty ass hands on that beautiful work. This guy's funny. I like him. <laughs> I like him. I like him. I gotta tell you guys the truth. Yo, we're gonna use the coconut oil. So let's get this shit over there. Okay. Give it a couple of spoonfuls. We don't we don't need too much, but just just enough. Okay. And so what we're going to do, guys, me and you, while we're over here, we're going to season up our fish. Well, no, we're not going to season up our fish because I'm frying fish. What the hell? Okay, so we're going to pull out this beautiful little Tupperware. <clears throat> you guys like my shorts? Do you like these? I wore these just for you guys. I figured you guys would like these. So that's why I wore them. Look. BOM! You see that? That's what, that's, you see. Ah, uh, you see that? That's what you get for biking 30 miles in a day, guys. If you would have biked 30 miles today, you would have had legs like that too. So I gotta say, all right, so let me pull out a couple eggs. We got a lot of fish to fry. We got a lot, lot of fish, okay? I haven't fried this much fish in quite a while. Okay, so this, what this is gonna be, this is gonna be your binder right here there, guys. Maybe at 30 next time what? Maybe at 30 to what? That bag up there might actually be cornmeal. Okay, so we're gonna season our egg. We have one egg in there now. I don't know if it's gonna come up here and look at me. Okay, I don't know if my one egg is gonna be really enough. Where's the one fork I'm using? 
I don't know if it's going to be enough, but this is going to be our binder. We're going to, we're going to use another egg because I just don't feel like it's enough. I just, I just, Kirk, welcome to the show. We're in the kitchen with Joe. I get that good and we're gonna we're gonna throw some breadcrumbs in there we don't need a lot we don't need a lot we're not cooking for 10 people we're not cooking for 20. cooking for a lot so we're in no rush okay we're gonna that's actually not bad we're missing my favorite spice for fish I'll probably never find it again in my life I had it just the other day. I found it after we made fish. And I gotta tell you guys the truth, because it's me. Oh, there it is. Because it's me, dude, I am such a huge fan of anything seafood with Old Bay. Huge fan, guys. Huge, huge, huge fan. <laughs> Yeah, just so you guys know, after the show, we will be auctioning off these pants on my OnlyFans page. Okay, so if you're not subscribed now, that's OnlyFans.com slash FishManJo. And it's only $19.95 a month, guys. And for your $19.95. Fudge. Shit gets good. All right, a little bit of that old bag. Fan of Old Bay. I'm a fan. I know. Oh my God. Old Bay's so used and abused. Like, who the hell likes that shit? I hate Old Bay. No, I still like it. Fishman Tyrone, welcome to the show, baby. All right, we're, we're, I really like this. It's sweet. It's lemony. It's got a lot going on. We're going to throw a little bit of this in there, too. Okay? Now, if you guys notice, what I'm doing is we're seasoning our breadcrumbs. Okay? That's what we're... That might be a little bit too much. But fuck it. It's me. Oh, oops. I've been trying not to cuss. I don't know if you guys can tell. I've been trying. All right. Stir up your breadcrumbs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. Intoxicating. What did Polish Cha Cha do? Colleen. Are those turtle eggs? Um, no, they're not turtle eggs. They're actually bald eagle eggs. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I was doing some blow out back with Alfred earlier. So no, actually, Alfred, if you guys look, if you guys look, if you check out Alfred's channel, Alfred's kids channel, they actually just came back from Alaska. And when he came back from Alaska, he, he uh, smuggled me in some bald eagle legs. Dude, good stuff. Good, good stuff. Okay? Thank you. Mm. I'm telling you. I don't know what it is. I think it's the fact of it being endangered or highly illegal that just makes it taste that much better. You know? Maybe that's just me, but it makes all the difference in the world. Okay? Don't let this be like the freaking turtles the other day. Don't snitch me out, guys. I don't need F-Dub coming to my house. They already pulled me over to the dock. I, I mean, I still got to go to court for it. I still got to go to court. Don't worry. You guys will hear all about it. Dude, don't worry about that pot. That pit <laughs> <coughs> That's Pilch's chicken. Mm. 
I gotta make myself another toddy. Just give me a second, guys. <coughs> I feel like I'm so. <coughs> I feel like <coughs> I feel like I'm starting to sober up, and we all know it ain't no life's not fun sober. Unicorns. <laughs> Shut the fuck. What the fuck? All right. We're gonna stir the rice up a little bit to make sure that's cooking nice and even. Let's get in here. Our potatoes are doing good and looking beautiful, boys and girls. Did you inhale? I think I did. I think I did. I think I went a little too hard. Who says I haven't eaten a panda bear? How do you guys know I don't have some freaking like, like maybe a little bit of panda bear back strap or something like that underneath some manatee ham hocks. How do you know? How do you know in the freezer? Okay, so we're gonna heat up our oil. And we're gonna put that on low heat. While we put that on, do you see this little dish? This little dish, what this does is it sits on the stove. And do you know why this little dish sits on the stove? Do you know what this dish does? When you stir something with a spoon or with a fork, what are you gonna do with it after you put it some after you stir it? It's got whatever you're stirring in it, right? And what do you do? You end up just putting it on the stove and you make a mess. So a little dish like this. All your problems are solved. Right there. That's all it takes. No, there's no there's there's no frogs in here. I don't I don't have any frogs in my kitchen. Butt Zone, who's the sponsor of today's Butt Zone? <sighs> Actually, Alfred Montaner is today's sponsor of Butt Zone. Thanks, Alfred. Just so you guys know, if you haven't checked out Alfred Montaner, great guy, real good friend of mine. I love the freaking guy to death. Oh, man, that pepper is just so strong. It's the habanero in the air. Oh, I am just inhaling the shit out of it. Okay, so I want to thank Julio Cabrera for coming over. Julio Cabrera came over earlier, and he was so kind to fillet these yellowtail up for me because Lord knows I've never filleted a fish in my life. I don't even know how to fillet a fish. How do you fillet a fish? So what we're going to do is we're going to slap these baby things. Oh, we're going we're to gonna, we're gonna get them good and coated, okay, as we Good and coated. Good and coated. No, it's not. Don't ever say that, Tyrone. You see that? Good. Look at that. Oh, sloppy. Sloppy. Dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, just basking it. Yeah. Rubbing it in your chest. Fuck yeah. 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 <laughs> hey Mike, it's so funny you asked me that. She she used to ask me the same thing. Why do you always get off of me whenever you? Why don't you just lay and kiss me afterwards? And I'm like, I don't want that shit on me. <laughs> oh, man, that probably went over a lot of people's heads. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> oh man! The other day when I made the moonfish for the when I made the moonfish for breakfast, I was just in the mood. I wanted to get dirty. Today, no, I want to play nice. I want to be nice today. All right, so look, we're gonna get that good encoded, good encoded. You see that? You see that? How it's good? We have a good crust on there because that's really what you want. You want that bright crumb and that egg to just, uh, just everything I cook is tasty. Don't you ever forget that. Ray, Ray, dude, I want, I want to talk to you, Ray. I want to talk to you. Mm. 
No, we're keeping it simple. We're not going to, listen, usually I used to do that. I used to do egg, flour, egg, breadcrumb to make a really good crust, but we're going to keep it really simple. We're not going to, I need you in my life. There's a song like that. I want it in my life. Come put it in my life. Why do I know that song? I know that song. Why do I know that song? And I want you to know, I was rubbing my hands through the beard today. It's getting so plush. Turtle tongue. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, soup on, guys. Soup's on. Mmm, yummy. Oh, I can smell the butter. All right, so we got that going. Our first piece of fish, we're gonna move this over here. Man, I need a bigger kitchen. You know what? Let me just get this shit out of the kitchen. All right. <sighs> So, welcome to the coffee pot. Yes, all of my cabinet doors are open. Yes, I don't know if you guys can realize, but I am a man. Ribs tonight, straight bullet, let's go. What, is, what shit is Mr. Tropical over there talking? You guys win. I didn't want to get dirty. I wanted to play it clean, but you guys win. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see how it just slaps in there? Stir it back up. Maybe I could do three at a time. I didn't want, I wanted clean hands. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Now let's rinse our hands off. Oh yeah, guys. Right here. Did I ever tell you guys I'm kind of weirdly upset? We should have made grits. Let's check how the potatoes are doing. Oh, potatoes are smelling delicious, boys and girls. Really? Well, let me show you something. Do you see how it's even with the wall here? Unless, oh, oh. I hit my head with the cabinet doors too. Kirk, come on over. Dinner will be ready in about an hour. Not even. It'll be ready real soon. Rice is looking beautiful. Let's shake it up. We got one more fish, to, piece of fish to fry. You know what I didn't buy though, and I'm kind of regretting buying it, because anytime you fry fish, you really do need it. Okay? I don't know about you guys, but paper towels. But then again, coconut oil. You don't really have coconut oil. So I, I feel like it's so clean that I'm not worried about all the extra oil that comes with it, you know? I like coconut oil. I really do. All right, let's rinse our hands. We're gonna do some dishes here because we don't need the egg no more. And what should I do with it? Joseph, very special. Special yellow right. All right, did I ever tell you guys I use this to scrub pots and pans? Yes, I got it straight out of my uh, my to my bathroom. Just so you guys know, so there's no, no questions about it. 
No, rabbits are too easy to come across. I only eat in date boots stuff. Maybe if you said it was like the president's rabbit or some shit like that, you know? Uh, I don't know, Ryan. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to talk about that yet. Because I'm going to Alfred's house with a bottle of tequila, flowers, and chocolates. Because I'm going to butter up his wife. And I'm going to get fucking out. I'm going to get him drunk. Oh. Oh, it's, it smells so good, boys. Let me bring you over here. Look at this right here. Whoa. Wait. It's looking like it's golden brown in and around the edges. Do you see how beautiful that is? If you look there, that's just... Wait. Wait. <gasps> look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, would you just... Would you just look at that? Jesus Christ. Hey, man, girl, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Welcome to the show, baby. We can fry that a little bit longer. Look, it's all energy and it's all love, and we're all here to have a good time. I'm here to enjoy you guys. You guys are here to enjoy me. It's a good, it's a good combination. Hey, Joe. Yeah, actually not long ago. Um, I went for a full checkup and my cholesterol, everything was like, my sugars, everything was really, really good. And do you know what my doctor told me? What keeps my cholesterol and all that stuff in really good, in really good standings? The fact that I exercise every fucking day. That's what keeps it really good. So that's... So I just want you to know that, Mr. Tropical. I just want you to know that. When's the last time you checked yours? Mr. Tropical, when's the last time you went for a walk? I know you live in Miami. If you want, I'll come go for walks with you. If you, if you don't live far from me, if you live in my area, I'll come go for walks with you to get you active, bud. USMC, you suck. You suck, dude. <laughs> dude, I hate you guys. I want you to know that when bro, when I'm when I'm pedaling, when I'm pedaling and you guys with your e-bikes come up, I'm like, dude, this son of a bitch. <laughs> like I'm not even gonna lie to you, okay? It's gotta be ready to flip. Oh baby. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess who's killing it in the kitchen tonight? This guy. Come on over. You're more than welcome. I mean, I don't hide anything. I don't hide anything, guys. I show you guys right where I live. For fuck's sakes, I did a whole video on it today. So if you're to that point where you want to come say hi to me, you're more than welcome. I'm kidding. That is not a fucking open invitation. Stay the fuck away from my house. Joe, four-stroke fund. Hey, look at that. Alfred came in here to give. Alfred, stop. <laughs> Stop. See, I was wearing this for a reason. Do you guys have a Miami Fred County hat? I'm a man of many hats. Yeah, that's a new mo bow motor fund. We're doing good. We're actually really good. Um, it we are.
All right, the fish is looking beautiful. We're gonna stir that up. The fish is looking good. Oh, that rice. Oh, boys. Okay, the rice is done. Oh, beautiful. So, the rice is beautiful and done. Look at this. You see that? Beautiful. You guys see it, he's a threat. Somebody figure out where he lives. Bravo, bravo, we're going to his house. All right. I think the fish is almost done to come out of the fryer. Who's Mary? Don't get jealous, Cray Cray. There's enough Joe to go around, baby. Polish cha-cha, let's go. Hold on, wait, what? Let's go. Hullover is nothing. Hullover is nothing. Remember that. Hullover is nothing without me. Alright, so our fish is about done. I like my fish nice and golden brown. Oh, look at that. Hold on. I don't want to break it. Oh, no. I don't want to break it. Alfred Montaner in the his house, baby. Let's go. Yo, let's, where the, what? Okay, did I miss anything else? I wonder how shrimp would fry. Shrimp don't fry in the kitchen. Beans don't burn on the grill. Ooh. Hey, we. Andy, I want to go shrimping with you so bad. So bad. Like, you have no idea how badly I want to go shrimping with you. But we got to bring my boxes. How much shrimp can you catch? Coconut oil is... Yo, hey, I was very impressed with Derek actually back there working like he did. I, I, enjoy, I enjoyed it. How much shrimp are you allowed to keep, Andy? How many pounds? Because those looked like big shrimp. What was the count? Were those like 15 to 30 a pound? Get the fuck out of here. Yo, I got some... I, I don't think we can put a 500 pound box on the back of your boat or nothing, but we can do it. Oh. God damn, that rice is so damn good. How long have we been... God damn. Looks like 21, 25. That's what I'm saying. Like 15, 25, somewhere in there. There was some big shrimp in there. Okay. The potatoes are a little bit overdone, but they're good. I want you to show you something. I have been holding on to this. I have been holding on to this since last shrimp season. When we did our shrimp oil, I have been holding on to this and I have been waiting for the moment to use this. So I am dying for shrimp season so I can make shrimp scampi. And I know, I know, everybody out there, why don't you make your own garlic sauce? Why, when they sell shit like that? Why? No, that, that, that live stream was killer, bro. All right. We got to do dishes while we're here. Because if not, like I told you guys, I will just leave this shit forever. Beans don't burn in the kitchen. Fish don't fry on the grill. Alfred, let's go next weekend. Or let's go during the week. Can we go during the week, Andy? Not on weekends. Julio, what's up, brother? 
Want to come by for some, uh, we're making some endangered sea turtle. Everything McCormick. Yeah, yeah, that's Nelly. Spicy garlic hot sauce. Don't mind if I do. I put that shit on everything. Now. Hey, Julio, I called you back the other day. You didn't answer. It's okay. I realized. Fuck you, Joe. Oh, oops. I'm trying not to cuss. Bit of that spicy mayonnaise for the fish. Yeah. All right. is just so right. okay you guys know the rules you guys oh wait you're, you're too low Hold on. you guys know the rules it's all about the one bite okay first we're gonna we're gonna try the potatoes Okay, we got a little bit of that spicy garlic up on there. A little bit of that spicy mayonnaise. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Those are good potatoes. They're not overly cooked. Okay, let's try the let's try the rice. Okay, we got a little bit of that spicy garlic on the rice as well. Uh the rice is perfection. We are killing this right now. I want you guys to know that. Now let's move on to the fish. Okay, as for consistency, let me tell you. It's good. It's flaky. You hear that? We got a good crust. Dip it a little bit up in that mayonnaise. Mm. Okay, I can definitely taste the habanero in there. I taste the spicy jerk. We're gonna go seven out of 10. We killed it on dinner tonight, guys. Seven out of 10. Mary, let's go, wait, why, well, let's go. Let's go, Mary. Who else gave, what the hell? Let's go, Mary. Let's go, but yo, dinner, amazing. Amazing. Hmm.
Oh yeah. Now, now that we've slowed down a little bit, you guys, you guys just want to hang out and eat. Yeah. Mm. It's definitely really good. It's definitely really, really good. It's it's banging. It's it's really good. Mm. And you see the yellow rice, right? It's windy. Mm. Oh, it's good. Mm. Oh, shit, let's go. Mm. Let's go, baby. What am I drinking? This is vodka. But instead of drinking straight, straight vodka, because it could you guys imagine? Man, it's windy. If I drank straight vodka, see what it is, is I have it on, um, what I do is I have one of those like two gallon jugs and every week when I finish it off, it takes me usually about three, four days to drink about two gallons of vodka. I buy the really cheap shit, that skull, you know, cause dude, when you're an alcoholic like I am and you drink as much as I do, fuck, it gets expensive. So I put a little grape in there. Could could you imagine if I walked around just drinking like booze bag Joe? That's yeah, that's what they call me, booze bag Joe. I got you here. This one's for John S. S. Mm. God damn. Mm. We're gonna tear up these potatoes right here. Um, uh, yellow tail. We went fishing yesterday, Julio. I want to start fishing more. Um, I want to start fishing more. It's Joe of all. Around here, I wear a lot of different hats. McCormick, Missouri. I'm moving. Alfred. Stop, Alfred. Stop, Bo. I'll see you tomorrow, Alfred. I know what you're doing. I love you, brother. Mm. I love you so much, dude. Purple drink. Sorry. I'm drinking purple drink. <laughs> I love you, dude. I really do love you, Alfred. Lord saying you did save my life, but it didn't rain until after I got home. Okay. Drink. That's what I said. Purple drink. You did, and I'm I'm grateful. Thank you. But it never did rain. Alfred's paying child support for his dog. Yo, I was saying it the whole time I was in Alfred's shot. Dude, I'm out here walking your damn dog. <laughs> you notice that? Oh, man. I thought about it. I thought about it. I thought about it. Alfred's going to have cook. Mrs. Montaner does the cooking. What? What do you mean does Alfred have a channel? Main girl, you don't know about Alfred Montaner? If you don't know about Alfred Montaner, you better go subscribe. Alfred Montaner is the reason I'm on YouTube. I want you to know that. The only reason I'm on YouTube is because of Alfred Montaner. Damn. 
Pilch thinks you care. Wow. Hey, Pilch! Alfred doesn't give a shit about you. Yeah. Yeah. Alfred doesn't care about you, bro. Come here. I'll give you a hug. Come here. Come on. Come here. He's heartbroken right now. You see him. Come here. Come here. Come here. You see this? Look at him. Do you see this face you just broke? You just broke his heart. I love you, though. Even though Alfred doesn't love you. I, lo oh, I love you so much. Even though Alfred doesn't care about you, I care about you. Because I'm your daddy. I'm your only daddy. Don't ever forget that. You want some cheese? You want a piece of cheese? You want, you want some cheese? Oh, the monster wants cheese? I baby the shit out of my big ass pit bull. Good dad's my baby boy. Yes. Oh, it's okay. No. No. Eat the fucking cheese. Do I have to shove the cheese in? Eat the cheese. You don't want the cheese? No? He doesn't want the cheese. Hold on. He doesn't want the cheese. He wants he wants the age stuff. He wants Sorry, he ate the cheese. I'm so glad I didn't wear the man phone. You know how embarrassing that would have been as many times as I bent over? But it was gonna be a good joke with like, I was gonna go get a Bud Light can and stuff like that. It would have been good. But so. Rice and potatoes. Mm. Yo, today was like a very hard, high carb diet day. All right. Mm. <laughs> how am I gonna run out of cheese? Did you see how much? That that's about a month's worth of cheese. He wants his chicken. I know. I know. I know what he wants. I know my baby boy. A butt plug raccoon tail. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Alfred hasn't been the same since Bucky's. I think a little bit of the whiteness really locked into him. I wish people say fish. It would save me so much money. Well, I don't pay for chicken. <laughs> you definitely were attacked, Alfred. I'll take that dog anywhere. Mm. Oh, so damn good. I didn't see it last night. I was probably asleep. Mm. Do you know what probably really tasted better? That snook I got the other day. He No, he, he doesn't really eat fish. That snook I got the other day, that shit would have been fire. Alfred went to Alaska. I have spent more time on YouTube today, like watching it, than I have in a while.
I know. First keeper of the season, and I let it go. I can't. I still can't get over it. But I kind of blame Tiger for that. Man, girl, let's talk. Hopefully soon. Hey, man, girl, look, my number is 305-725-7020. Um, hit me up after the show. I'd like to know more about lobstering up there. If you, if that's really what you do. Yeah, yeah, because Tiger was like, release it in the lake. Do it, do it. <laughs> you want to go snipe hunting? We use that down here too. I'm just going to take you right behind the dumpster and pull out my, you know. I'm be like, hey, I'm Fishman Joe. You want to touch my balls? No, I haven't. I haven't. I have not, I haven't, I haven't splashed the bow yet. I have to. I've been putting it off. Poor him, Terry Springer. Yeah, that's my work number. 305-725-7020. My number's everywhere anyways. I, I mean, it's on the side of my boats. You can Google it. It's not a big deal. Um, my number's everywhere. So that's, I mean, if you go to my Instagram and you click contact, my number's there. It's it's everywhere. So what am I worried about? You know, like your dad at 4 a.m. What am I missing? Heavy rain in Fort, Fort Lauderdale. I'm sure it is. Yeah. My house probably is marked on Google Maps. Fuck do I care? Listen, bro. Well, after nine o'clock, I have to call you back because calls go. I I have um, what's I'm gonna call it turned on. So you gotta wait for me to call you back. I want to know about lobster. That's what I want to know about. Okay. Tell him to call me. I'd like to talk to Ray too. Because Ray works up in the panhandle. And for a while I wanted to go up to the panhandle. So. I'd like to know how he does. You know. But I, I just. Listen. I really love South Carolina and after what I watched today with with this guy shrimping I really like it up there because dude those weren't bad numbers Andy how many quarts how many quarts did you fill up of shrimp how many quarts you tell me how many quarts you have and I'll tell you how many pounds I usually eat at the couch, but it's easier to do it like this with you guys. I know he had three or so baskets, but when he had finished, he had two. Six five gallon buckets. Really? You had 180 pounds. That's 180 pounds. That's solid. That's not bad. 180 pounds, two dollars. That that's fucking I think that's killer. What do you guys 180 pounds that I mean, that's not big money. You need at least five hundred bucks a day, so you figure Maybe if you're getting $3 a pound, that, that's kind of worth it. 
I don't know what shrimp prices are up there at market. All right, guys. I'm going to end this. I'm going to go feed my pup. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. Remember, guys, I go like this, and you go like that. That's a heart. All right? I'll see you guys tomorrow. You tend shrimp. Or don't shrimp. Yeah, yeah, I fucking wish. I wish. <laughs> Yeah, call me. I'd, I'd like to know about lobstering if that's really what you do. All right? Remember, guys. Hey, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We might be on the boat. I don't want to promise, but we might go out on the boat. All right? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.